Hello everyone. I'm so excited to be here with you all today on this first Friday of June. It's a new month and uh, I'm excited to dive into the last aspect of God's character that I've chosen, which is truth. John 14, 6 says, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. As we read that verse, let's allow that truth to calm our hearts and give us hope. Just as Jesus was calming the hearts of his disciples as he was preparing them for what would come. If we notice here in this verse, Jesus doesn't promise to teach us a truth. He said he is the truth. He is the truth in which we must believe. We know that the word is God, and God says that. His word is truth in John 17, 17. He also tells us in John chapter 16, verse 13, that when the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. As believers, his Holy Spirit has come to live in us, and we know the truth, and the truth is what sets us free. These very words were spoken by Jesus to his disciples and to us. David cried out in the Psalms for God to lead him in his truth and that he may walk in his truth. May that be the cry of our hearts, that we continually ask God that he leads us and that we walk in him, the truth. Ephesians 4.15 tells us to speak the truth in love. Jesus is truth. Jesus is love. And he tells us, be like me, speaking through the Apostle John in 1 John 4, 17. When Jesus was standing before Pontius Pilate, he said, For this purpose I was born, and for this purpose I have come into the world, to bear witness to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth listens to my voice. We have also been called to bear witness to the truth by listening to his voice. Jesus desires all men to come to the knowledge of the truth. And we can read that in 1 Timothy 2.4. When we choose to live in unrighteousness or sinfully, we suppress the truth. Paul helps us to understand this in Romans 1 verse 18. Jesus longs for the truth himself to be preserved, kept alive, maintained in us. This is why it's so crucial that we renew our minds daily in his word, that we spend time with fellow believers that will encourage us in the truth, that we hold fast to his promises, hold fast to his character that never changes, and seek him above all else and walk diligently in love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That's Galatians 5, 22, and 23. And so as we go about our day today, and as we go into this weekend, I would like to ask us a question um, that we can just ponder on and talk with the Lord over. How can we use our time more diligently to share the truth with those around us. As we've been brought through another week in the presence of the Holy Spirit, we praise him for his love. We praise him because he is unchanging. We glory in his light. We are encouraged by his strength and comforted by his truth that we have grown in. May we all be bold and courageous in sharing the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, thank you that you are truth. Lord, we know that there are many thoughts and many ideas and many opinions out there, but we stand firm that there is but one truth, and that is you. And we thank you for that, that we don't have to be confused. Lord, I pray and I ask for each person that's listening that you reveal yourself to them in a fresh way. That they would see and understand that you and you alone are all the truth that they need. Thank you for that. 
Bless us, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a fantastic weekend, you guys. I'll see you next time. God bless you. Bye-bye.